In the 70s, Hare Krishna became a household word. This was due to the efforts of the founder of that movement, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who came to the West from India in 1965 with only a few books. However, immediately after his departure from this world in 1977, the institution was taken over by 11 ambitious and self-possessed leading secretaries. These men, and those who have subsequently desired similar institutional dominance, diverted the movement from Srila Prabhupada's original and pure standard. The ecclesiastical, so-called gurus of this corporation, consistently failed to evidence any genuine or divine empowerment. Due to the ruthless, heavy-handed hypocrisy of this faction, virtually all of the Founders' original disciples were driven from what little had remained of the Founders' movement. Schisms then emerged to create competing factions, all representing concocted, self-interested, quote-unquote, initiation schemes, or leading people to other older men in India, whose messages differed from the pure and perfect teachings of Srila Prabhupada. Despite these perversions, Krishna consciousness remains the world's oldest spiritual tradition, the science of the absolute truth. Disciples who stick to the original teachings, as presented in the books of Srila Prabhupada, are able to pass on the original truths and facts, just as a postman delivers a letter. The devotees of the Vaishnava Foundation act in this manner, to distribute the timeless knowledge of Vaishnava wisdom. Humanity needs to be lifted above the struggle for existence, by getting a glimpse of the original, pure and eternal nature of the spirit soul. Please examine our writings in an unbiased manner, as there is both depth and consistency contained therein. Krishna Kirtana